Good morning, boys and girls. It's me, your humble neighborhood friendly stroke assaulter. And it is three months to the day since I had my stroke. Um, 21st of June, about 10.30ish in the morning, I found the ground at work. About this time, right now it's about 12.15 in the afternoon, uh, on the 21st of September. So about three months ago right now, I'm going to assume, because they didn't let me, I really didn't look at clocks often, um, I was just getting the TPA. So, and they were asking me a bunch of questions at 10 minute intervals to see how my brain was doing. Um, so, it's been a fun ride so far. Three months, 90 days. Um, initially, I was expected to be back to work by now. Sadly, that's not going to happen. Maybe six months. I'm hoping. Hoping six months will definitely be. Maybe maybe sooner. Sooner be nice. Um, not really having a, a joyous time with this whole, uh, <laughs> this whole thing. Yeah. So, that being said, moving on. So, what's the last three months been like? Well... First two weeks, sheer, abject, unadulterated, fuck you terror. Yep, you, the scary sentence you're ever going to get to hear, or at least I've been able to hear in my lifetime, is uh, you're having a stroke. <clears throat> yeah. So, it's pretty overwhelming. So, I've gone through aphasia, that being speech and language difficulties. If you look at the day one freedom video, that would be that. Um, pretty much conquered aphasia, eh, well, so to speak. I still have speech and language difficulties insofar as stuttering or stammering when I'm tired or emotional, get confused. Um, working through the post-stroke anxiety and depression piece, for that I'm in counseling. Yay! Got a head shrinker. Actually, she's pretty good. Um, I still go to physio three times a week. Uh... That is becoming more challenging in some ways and easier in others, but that's the way physio is supposed to be. Um, I've noticed a few people have dropped away off of Facebook, people that I considered friends or had been friends with on Facebook or through work or whatnot. They have fallen away. Um, I'm going to assume it's simply because they have started the whole stroke leprosy thing because unfortunately you had a stroke you will be treated like a leper <laughs> mainly because people don't know how to deal with their shit because of your shit um, they're just horrible fucking humans um, joined three different Facebook groups for stroke survivors um, stroke talk on Facebook uh, young stroke survivors on Facebook and then the stroke coffee house on Facebook so if you are a someone who is going through the recovery of a stroke those outlets are only meant for people that have had a stroke uh, i've been to my first um face-to-face uh, -face support group here in my city uh, with other stroke survivors or i prefer stroke assaulter um so it's a bit of a struggle at times right because this journey, as I've said before, you're going to have people around you, but unfortunately, this journey is a fairly isolating journey. It is something you are going to have to do on your own, right? This isn't something you're really going to be sharing with people, per se, right? Uh, this is something that you're going to be doing on your own, um, and you are going to be doing with people around you, helping you, but sadly, this is something... You've got to put the work in because it only gets better if you make it better. If you're not willing to put the work in, um, it's different if you're unable, right? If you're physically or mentally unable to put the work in, that's a different journey altogether. But if you're unwilling, unwanting, needing to, you know, you're just being willfully ignorant, yeah, it's not going to get any better. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I lucked out. I totally lucked out. Um... I lucked out. I was fairly physically fit and healthy before my stroke. 
Uh, I lucked out that I got to the emergency room within an hour of my stroke. I lucked out that the first doctor I happened to see after coming off the ambulance happened to be, just happened to be there by circumstance, the stroke guy. Um, you know, there are so many things that I lucked out with um, that I owe my life, and in some cases my recovery journey, I, there's credit due for other people, and I'll definitely have to pay them the appropriate attention when time comes. Um, this isn't an easy thing, right? No, no one wants to have to do this. And I never considered myself to even be in the realm of creating a YouTube channel. Um, I did. I have a thing. I've got 30, 36 subscribers. I'm going to assume I know most of you personally. And thank you for sticking around over the last 90 days. Um, now, specifically to the 36 people that watch my channel um, regularly. And the few of you that watch it, right? Uh, a bit more infrequently, if there's something you want to see me cover, right, uh, definitely leave a comment in below or you can email me and I will happily uh, entertain um, that. Um, that being said, if it's something you want to see me cover, something that I haven't really covered well enough, please let me know. Again, I can be reached at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. I say again, strokeassaulter at gmail.com. Um, or you can leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm learning how to edit right now, so you're going to start seeing better edited videos come out. And I'm learning how to create an intro and an outro, right? So that is going to take some time. Unfortunately, bear with me, I had a stroke. So learning new tasks still, especially strictly computer-based ones, can be a bit daunting, right? So it's been three months ago today. Right. Um, now, for those of you that have had a stroke, and depending on where you are in your recovery journey, right, the only easy day was yesterday. Right? Um, the only day that you can truly make better is today, and you can hope for tomorrow. Right. Uh, and for those of you that have had a stroke, you'll know ex exactly what I'm talking about. Um, the only easy day you're ever going to have is is yesterday. Um, you can make today a better day than yesterday, and you can be hopeful for tomorrow. Not every day is going to be, you know, sunshine, puppy dogs, and rainbows. Uh, you know, unless maybe you're in North Korea, because there's sunshine every day and fearless leader farts rainbows, and well, there might be dog for dinner, right? So, could be a good day. You know, I've got a great North Korean look cookbook. It's got an excellent, excellent Labrador section in it. Um, you know. So, anyways, I just thought I'd say hi to everyone. It's three months today. It's a bit of a surreal day once you realize that three months ago today you had your stroke, um, and and the related difficulties that you get with that, right? So definitely. For those of you that are going through the recovery of a stroke, right? I know how difficult your journey could be. I don't know how difficult your journey will be, right? Because every stroke is so unique. Um, and again, I'm going to say this completely. I lucked out. There are many things that worked mystically in my favor. Um, if I was religious, I would have to say that there was um, significant intervention. But I'm not, so I can't. Uh, that being said, you know, if you happen to like what you've been watching, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you know someone that's going through the throes of recovery either themselves or supporting someone who's being their own stroke assaulter, please recommend the channel to them. Again, if there's something you want to see me cover, please comments down below. And for those of you that um, happen to think either you or someone around you is just just having a stroke. Um, Please recognize the most common symptoms, and I'm going to do a video on the symptoms and all because these are the most generalized. Facial droop, inability to raise both arms equally effectively or at all, inability to smile equally effectively or at all, slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, 
inability to stand unaided, general body weakness or weakness on one side, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple could save a life.